Hello everyone, Jason Nissen here. I'm going to be briefly going over some of the benefits of doing scholarship of teaching and learning. This is going to be broken down into three categories. The first is just engaging in a reflective teaching practice. All right, so I'm going to be bringing my disciplinary habits of inquiry, question asking, and evidence gathering to my work as an educator. I'm going to be making evidence-based decisions and having evidence to justify the decisions that I've made in my course. Uh, and to guide future decision making. I'm going to be engaged in a systematic process for improving my instruction based on evidence. right? Um, and I'm going to make sure using that evidence that I'm dedicating my time and resources to practices that have an impact on student outcomes that I care about. Secondly, <clears throat> there are benefits for my tenure, promotion, or retention, whichever of those apply to you, right? And also for getting a new job, right? Scholarship of teaching and learning can align with the university mission statements for student learning, student scholarship, and creating inclusive environments. It can provide evidence of engaged and effective teaching to put into our um, annual reviews and annual reports. We can produce publications in peer-reviewed journals and presentations at conferences that can be highly valued by departments uh, and colleges. And we can also engage in mentoring undergraduate researchers, which can align with the mission statements for the institutions or the departments. Lastly, <clears throat> scholarship of teaching and learning can be a tool for joining and or building a community. This community can be inside or outside of one's department or institution, right? It can be joining a community of scholars that you meet at a conference um, or that you collaborate with across institutions working on publications or grant applications or grant research, funded, grant funded research. Uh, student researchers can become a part of this community, um, right? So you can really build an inclusive culture within a department uh, that really brings in undergraduate students into the research side. Uh, it also can just be very satisfying for one's own curiosity uh, or the curiosity of a community, right? So c collaborating together to work towards uh, a better understanding and just the satisfaction of answering an interesting question. And in these communities, we get to learn from others, right? This is one of the reasons to engage students in the work. Um, they bring perspectives that we have a hard time accessing as uh, disciplinary experts. Um, and we bring skills that they're trying to develop, and that's why they're there. Um, thank you for taking the time to watch the video. Um, please check out the rest of the videos we have on the scholarship of teaching and learning uh, and research you can do in your class.